Hello friends, welcome to my next video tutorial of multi-story digital structure analysis and design using Pro program version b 8 i and in this particular video tutorial series I am going to show you how to do analysis and then how to check various forces like bending moment, shear force, reactions, axial force, etc. So to do analysis, when you have completed your load combination, then you have to go to here command, then click here analysis, perform analysis, ok go to here this analyze tab and from here run analysis or press ctrl f5 from your keyboard and save now it will run the analysis and it will take some time depending on the size of your structure and when your analysis is done click here go to post processing mode done ok by default you can see here the green line is showing around all the members which is the deflection and here is the code selected is 27 if I select code 11 dead load live load and here this deflection is by default selected and now you can check various forces including bending moment shear force reactions and axial force to check say bending moment from here click V from Z and take this beam cursor select this first floor right click new view ok now click here isometric view you can check from here the deflected shape which is the green so here this is the deflected shape if you press control and scroll, uh, scroll your wheel now you will see the scale is increasing so the deflection is increasing actually the uh, shape is increasing this way and now if you want to check the value in, you can do going to here result v value beam result this uh, displacement check this maximum resultant annotated close now you can see as per this combination which is dead load and live load so this is the deflection you have to check this deflection as per the allowable as per your local code which is usually l by 240 and changing here various code you can check deflection here okay and click this icon deflection now it will disappear the value and the shape now click at this bending moment mz if you want to check the moment now you can see the bending moment of these beams and as per this dead load combination select a dead load live load now you can see the shape is changing and similarly going to a resultant view value beam results bending moment and maximum midpoint check all these three annotate ok close now you can see and this is a little bit difficult to check the value and you can check the value by going to each beam by double clicking on any beam then going to share bending and from here selecting various combination and you can check the value from here and even you can scroll to see the value from here in this list distance then f y and also the mz so you can check from here share force bending moment and changing various combination from here you can check and also check if you can see there is a share y share z bending z bending y so individually you can also check from here so and also you can see there is a deflection icon you can also check deflection from here and y now you can see the deflection of this beam and from here you can also check individually close so you can check shear force and bending moment this way the similar way by selecting any column you can check this bending moment and shear force uh, whole whole model uncheck this one top view say this one right click new view okay if i want to check for this one i have to go to here moment and double clicking on this i can check shear force bending moment from here for column and also going to here result view value beam result checking this three annotated close so now you can check from here too and if i want to check axial force from here now I, I, I can check from here this is axial force press control scroll your mouse to reduce the scale this way now you can see the shape of the axial force and to show the value here go to result view value beam result axial force at ends annotate close now you can see 
from here the excel ports available here and now the one another important thing is how to check the reaction of the support but before that you need to finalize all the member size but i'm just showing you in advance you have to do that and you have to check this if you want to do manual calculation from this value you can pick value from here and if you want to check the deflection you need to check the deflection after completion of the design so after finalizing the column and beam size then you have to check the deflection and if you want to just see the value don't want to check the design manually then you can also check this after completion of the design then there is also another easy way of finding maximum bending moment and which combination is governing in the design so i'm just showing you the procedure of picking the value if you need you can just pick this way so if i want to check a, a reaction i can do that by going to here just click this excel ports display whole structure view from z and take this node cursor select all this node right click new view okay isometric view press shift then k and shift s and shift n so all the node number is showing and now take a picture of this here take picture this is picture one okay go to here file then a report setup from here picture select this picture and shift here this picture and from here output find reaction from the list this is reaction and this right arrow go to here load cases i don't want to check reactions for this single cases i want to check only for combinations available starting from 11 just add left arrow click here and now all the available combination is here i want to check reaction for these codes i want to check reactions for these combinations now okay again go to your file then print preview report yeah this is the image i have shown and this is the reaction as per various node point and now you can print this by going to have print add pdf properties uh, change this to a4 okay okay say index top and from here you can check the value and you can do your uh, foundation design it so this is the procedure of uh, doing analysis and then picking the various value and you can also check later sway or deflection later after completion of the uh, design and in the next video i am going to show you how to finalize the various member side and how to input the various design parameter so thanks for watching my this video see you in the next video